Welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. My name is Tara. I am your intuitive tarot reader. I use tarot as a tool to open up the channels of your intuition. By tapping into your unawakened subconscious, you will answer the questions that you seek. I am not a psychic, although it may seem like it sometimes. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Always remember, the freedom of choice is your power. Only you can make it happen with your actions. What are you seeking? Hello, welcome to the one who seeks. Just got a new deck. It's the Audacity deck by the Pine Torch. And we're gonna do an unboxing. Probably need some scissors for that. Okay, right here. Convenient. I'm really excited for this deck. I bought my cousin a couple of stickers and a mug from the Pine Torch. And I didn't see a deck, a full deck. I just saw stickers. And then I was searching on Amazon and found that there is a full deck here. And there's the eyeball. little book. Oh, I'm definitely going to need to put my other glasses on for that. Since I am blind, I have to wear two different pairs of glasses. And I obviously did not prepare to be using my eyeballs. Ooh, pretty. And it's got reflective sighting. It's very rainbow-esque. I love the backside. All right, let me grab my glasses, get rid of those ones. Oh, I can see. All right, so we have the zero of fucks. It's a little sticky. And we have the burned bridge. Mm -hmm. We have two of these with these nuts. <clears throat> Three is the lovers. Four is the coffee. We have five. The death card. Six, the moon. The plump booty.
seven is strength, which is interesting. So I had a dream the other night and all I could remember from the actual dream, well, it was kind of like a nightmare pretty much all night, but, um, I just kept saying it over and over to myself in the dream. So I would remember when I woke up was the lion's den, which could be about courage and who I am if I'm the lion, but walking into a lion's den is very dangerous. Because there could be up to, I think they said 40, 40 lions in a den. Eight, perseverance. Nine, the T. Ten, the last straw. So this is one of the stickers that I bought for my cousin. She loves Starbucks coffee. Eleven, the audacity, which is the name of the deck, which is the eleven card. And eleven is a very special number. Alignment. And we have twelve, the breast pump. Thirteen, the bottle, moving up from the breast to the bottle, or moving backwards, depending on how you look at it. And fourteen, the taco, that's another one of the stickers I got for my cousin. Last time we hung out with them, that wasn't the last time, but we had a little taco dinner with them and played poker. Uh, 15, all right, I'm going to start losing my numbers on here, <laughs> the cold shoulder, sixteen, the child, seventeen, the mother, Eighteen, the mom boss. Nineteen, the hermit. Twenty, the gardener. Twenty-one. This is the mug I got from my cousin. <laughs> she loves French fries. The cheese fries. <laughs> Twenty-two. The slice. Twenty-three. The empress. 24, the chicken nugget. 25, the sun. 26, the high priestess. That looks nice. 27, the Zoom meeting. <laughs> 28, the influencer. Hello, that's me. 29, the life of the party. 
30, the last hurrah. Thirty one, the dead end job. Thirty two, the fiddle leaf fig. Thirty three, the star. 34, the devil. 35, the fair weather friend. <laughs> Doesn't look like a friend. And 36, the tower. Oh, I am so excited about this deck. I had no idea there was an actual deck. I am really, really excited. Um, and I just happened to find it on like one of the last pages on Amazon. <clears throat> I usually only make it through like the first five pages, but I went pretty far in there. I was in like the 40th page or something like that before it showed up. I'm really excited that I found this. All right, we're just going to do a short little raid here. Just play around with it. Knock out some of this energy coming from the factory. Okay. Some clarity. Okay, let's see what these cards are telling us today. This is a reading for the collective. This is the unveiling of the deck. The audacity. And, all right. <laughs> and what we have here. <laughs> so we have the fair weathered friend and the two of these. So somebody is walking all over you and they're very happy about it. Like they have killed you. They're very excited. This is um, a new growth opportunity for them. Maybe they are trying to steal a job position of yours. Um, this is a backstabbing friend, somebody that maybe you thought was a good friend of yours, but really is not. Um, they're jealous of you. Uh, they are definitely trying to grow into whatever position that you had. They're going to steal that from you. They're going to steal your body. Maybe they're stealing your skin because they're just a skeleton here. Um, they need your skin. This so like reminds me of um, like spirits taking over your body, right? And you have to have some sort of a um, ejection of the spirit because it has taken over you. Uh, looks like they want to grow from your skin, take over your life, pretend to be you. Um, and they're over here saying, these nuts, right? <laughs> the squirrel is looking at the nuts here. These are dangling from the skeleton. And we have other squirrels looking. Um, this one looks really excited. This one looks confused. Um, but we're about to grab these nuts, right? We have you by the balls. Hey, and they are triumphant from this, from having you by the balls, from stabbing you in the back. 
So whoever this friend is, it's not really your friend. Right? The audacity to do this to you. And we just have these onlookers. They're not really doing anything. They want to take from you as well. So be careful who you hang out with, who you think is a friend, because um, they're not. They are not a friend. Who is this person? Let's see, let's find out who this person is. <laughs> so we got the two of D's again. And this is the burned bridge. So yeah, this definitely feels like some sort of a job, right? Yeah, I was like, I've quit many jobs and I've burned my bridges. We have the one and the two, so we're progressing here. So it might actually be a good thing that you're burning this bridge, right? <laughs> Which it is, because this person is not in your good interest. Um, they're stabbing you in the back, so um, they are burning the bridge. And you should also be burning this bridge, because you don't want them to cross over this bridge. You, you worked very hard to build Definitely feel like this is has to do with career. Um, they're trying to make their way to the other side and the only way that they know how to do it is by grabbing you by the balls. You know, they have something over you. Some sort of secret that you don't want out. Okay, they see the eyeball here. So I feel like this is you burning the bridge because this is your third eye that is opening and you are able to see this now. You know, and this could even be you here saying like, hey, screw you. I am st standing here triumphantly, no matter what you do to me, no matter what you burn, no matter how you grab my balls, I am triumphant. I have, you know, I want to say balls of steel, even they're not steel here, these are literally just nuts. But I have the balls to overcome this. I have the courage I have the superpower right this kind of reminds me of like Superman standing with his hands on his hips this cape flowing even Batman you know a lot of them a lot of those superheroes right so you are going to come out the superhero in all of this So just watch your nuts. But we are moving up, we're progressing here. Okay, well that was the unveiling of the Audacity deck by Pine Torch. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you on the next unveiling because I have, well, let's see six, seven, about eight or nine other decks I need to unveil. Some of them have not showed up yet. Um, so we're going to do this again, but with a different deck. Okay. Thank you for joining One Who Seeks. If you enjoyed this, please share, like, and subscribe so that others can get the information from this as well. What do you seek? Bye. I want to thank you and our angels for being present for the messages that have come through in this reading. If you found this to be helpful, please like and share this content so others can benefit as well. Seek the subscribe button and don't forget to get notifications so you never miss a reading. The more love you share, the more love you receive. And you can find more love right here. 
in these other videos. For more information about this channel, personal readings, swag, and donations, check the links in the description box.